I'm proper looking forward to this music reaction today because number one, I'm going to be listening to some more Lorna Shaw and number two, it's a one take vocal performance from the wonderfully gifted Mr. Will Ramos. So let's get on with it. It's Sun Eater. He doesn't stop to breathe. I'm sure he obviously is, but he's just got such wonderful technique that it doesn't seem like he's pausing to take a single breath. It's absolutely amazing. I love the strings in this as well. And to me, he his vocal um, melody and hook in that section there, I think it's sort of the chorus, seems to follow the chordal structure of the strings and orchestration. Just the machine gun drumming. That's such a cool guitar rick. Guitar rick, I can't speak. A guitar riff uh, as well. It's sort of like the, the drums, weirdly, almost replicating the guitar riff, which is quite difficult to do in itself. But they do, they seem to sort of follow that same sort of rhythmic, machine gun, military esque um, pattern. <laughs> Oh, that's just insanely, insanely good. There's, I'm going to skip it back a little bit here, um, about 10 seconds. You can hear where he just goes, how does he do it? So, missed it. Go back. <laughs> Brilliant. And all of the, you can hear the guitar like doom, 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 doom. And at the same time, with his vocal cadence and, and melody, he's replicating that as well. He's like, do, 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 do. Everything's just like emphasizing that, that, that rhythmic vocal guitar drum pattern because it's all just sort of they're all playing sort of similarly similarly if i can say that clearly i can't it's 
They're playing it the same, aren't they? Right, stop it there because you've got to always comment on the solo. Gorgeous legato and string skipping, arpeggios. There's sort of like chromatic spider fingering, finger twisting ergonomics going on there. And it still sounds like it fits the song. It's just they're not playing flashy, fast uh, 400 miles an hour solos just for the sake of it it does fit in with the structure and the composition of the song and again it sounds very cinematic uh, especially with the strings and orchestration which I alluded to earlier on it's a great bloody track it's it's a banger mate Oh, I love that in there, the, 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 the floor tom and the bass drum. Do, 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 do. Go back. Just makes it sound doomy, doesn't it? I can't remember who I was watching recently, um, a music reactor. It might have been Beth Rawls, I think it was, and she was commenting on sort of the extreme vocal sounds, death metal vocals and things like that. And rightly so, she said that quite a lot of people just think these performers are just screaming and just making weird noises. It isn't. There is so much technique involved to enable yourself to be able to do this and do it on a constant basis because otherwise you would just blow your throat and your voice out and you wouldn't last one single song there's so much um technique and training and i can imagine sort of the warm-ups and things like that that will probably has to do before he does these performances whether it be live or doing um uh recordings <laughs> oh that's like a little warbling effect on the orchestra and the strings there can you hear it was like woo, woo. maybe i did hear it wrong let's do it again Despite the extremity of everything that's going on in Will's vocals and the music itself, 
it's really catchy and hooky. I don't I don't want to say poppy because everyone hates that bloody word. But what I mean is it sticks in your head. There's nothing wrong with that, regardless of what type of music you create and play. If it's got a decent hook in it, you're on to a winner, mate. Bloody hell, mate. Even in that last section there, again, it didn't seem like he took a preparation breath leading up to that elongated um, vocal scream, growl, whatever you want to bloody call it. But it's so, so good, isn't it? I, I love listening to this band. So another one bites the dust with Lorna Shaw and Will Ramos. And there's certainly going to be some more on this channel. I'm actually thinking of doing a Sleep Token versus Will Ramos, where he does one of his covers of them. I've already done Chokehold and I thought it was brilliant. So I'm going to do some more of his Sleep Token covers because it covers the fact that I've been really enjoying listening to Sleep Token. And I also enjoy listening to Will Ramos, but I want to see how they compare versus one another, whether I prefer uh, the Sleep Token or the Will Ramos version, things like that. Get a bit of a controversy going in there, because we all love it when people say things that we don't like. It gets the comments flowing and people arguing with one another and it makes the videos look more popular than they really are. So please do keep the recommendations coming in. And if you've enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you want to see some more. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye for now, people.